Welcome back to Champion News Talk Radio, brought to you by ChampionNews.net. This is Carol Parisi. Thank you for staying with us this lovely Sunday. And um, our founder, Jack Roser, is not with us today. Uh, we have two great guests. We have v Vivian Porter and we have Mr. Bill Zettler. And uh, during the break, we were talking about some of these great property tax forums. Just so our listeners could know, grab a paper and pencil. Um, there's going to be one in Cook County uh, September 22nd in Mount Prospect and then there is one September 26th in Will County so your property taxes anywhere uh, Bill was saying what 50 to what 70 percent go to your school districts and your school districts are what's facilitating your teachers which our pension. So this is all integrated. Um, also, there's going to be a couple of exciting things for the grassroots because through the research that good folks like uh, Bill Zettler is doing and the work that the Tea Party groups like Vivian's group and our Awaken America group are doing, there's going to be two great events coming around the pike. And one is a TCON. So mark your calendars. That's going to be uh, September 30th through October 1st. That's TCON. And then. But that, you should also throw in that, that that's featuring Andrew Breitbart and Glenn Beck. And they're going to be doing a straw poll. We'll probably see some presidential candidates there as well. Well, there you go. There you go. And then also there's going to be Right Nation. And that is um, November 3rd through November 6th. Vivian, who is that going to feature? Uh, we're not allowed to say exactly at this time just because oh. contracts haven't been signed. So <laughs> I was told not to. Uh, uh -oh. No, Bill. Yeah. Speak, you know yeah. what? Stay with us. We'll yeah. promote it. But yeah. you know what? You know, grassroots conservatives have so many opportunities now to get up, get going, get motivated. There's going to be trainings. There's going to be things that inspire you to get up and do beyond just the sexy presidential, national, federal stuff. You know, yeah. Politics, and I heard this and I never got it until I had my quote unquote great awakening. Politics, all politics is a local. It begins in your school boards. Because, Bill, right, if you had good people on your school boards, that would help with a lot of this budgeting, which would help with this pension problem. Am I correct? Yeah, absolutely. And also your local state reps. Because if our state reps do not have the political will, our lawmakers have the political will to legislate properly for some of these, these things like pensions and things like that, we're never going to take our country back. So it's, it's a good time right now to get educated, get educated and educate others, but then get engaged in the process, get engaged in walking precincts, get engaged in going ahead and reading things like that are on champion news and educating other people. Sorry, I'm ranting. I know. Yeah. No, that's it's okay. Also good to, I, I, I just want to jump in because something that, that a lot of property owners and people need to understand is in the middle of the night through the years when we are focused on other things. Like our families, our children's baseball games, paying your bills. The unions, <laughs> the unions focus their attention on the school boards, your school board, and they install their own people. Now those elected officials on the school boards are there for one purpose and one purpose only, to represent the community. Yet, the unions have usurped our authority and installed people of their own that would have the the support and the agenda of the union. And that's why your property taxes have been going skyrocketing because we have not been paying attention and we let the unions in. And clearly real estate values are going down. Proper, property taxes keep going up. And these are things that these property tax forms are gonna explain to you why. But, um, you know, we're talking about this representative republic that we're so blessed to have. And if good folks like like yourself and all of us step up and do our part, and it's amazing to find out that people are actually running for office. Um, Vivian, you look like you want to say yeah. something. So um, I just encourage people to get involved. Um, and whenever I get a phone call from somebody who says, I've had it, I'm fed up, mm -hmm. I want to get involved. I'm always like, well, what do you, what's your passion? What's your, what's your area of interest? Mm -hmm. Because there's so much that 
I guarantee you that even if even if somebody else is working on it, they need help. Mm -hmm. And I, I was thinking about the local, you know, the election at the bottom of the ballot. We were talking about that on the break about those candidates. And we are blessed to have a lady, uh, Kathy Ward, down in the Payless Tea Party area who likes researching judges. I never knew. Who does that? Yeah. Kathy Ward is phenomenal at that. She did a great job last election cycle. Uh, she warned us about Kilbride months before he was even on anybody's that radar. Is fantastic. Now, is that on your website? Do um, we have a website? Uh, she has it on hers. And then what we do is we filter that information out as the elections come about. But that was something that we felt was important. Yeah. And, and researching the school board candidates, too. Mm -hmm. um, we were blessed that our high school level, we uh, Samantha Knightsky got on, the, on uh, the school board. She's a great tea partier. She's representing the people. She really is. And she's doing a great job. And I'm really proud of her. And I, I'm, we're blessed to have her on our board. So how much, how much opposition has she faced? Uh, she is facing opposition. I don't, uh, Lockport uh, High School is almost every election cycle for the past seven, I want to say seven years, has been going for referendum to build a new high school. Um, and they're at it again. They lost this last election cycle, um, and they're they're just gonna. It's it's like because it's, there's more students, or because they don't like the building. Uh, overcrowding is what they're saying. Overcrowding. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's so great to hear that people are actually getting engaged. You know, and there is going to be a candidate forum September 10th in Joliet. Yes. Where is that going to be at? Uh, at Samino's in uh, Joliet, and I have it at our website at homerlockportteaparty.com. Through great research, like Bill Zettler is doing, through great activism, like Vivian Porter and the Tea Parties are doing, we're taking back our country. Stay with us.